Hey, hey, everybody. It's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. And we're going to talk about on-demand liquidity with the digital asset XRP, how it's increasing. But first, just before I went to record this, I learned that Mr. Kitao, the CEO of SBI Holdings, made an announcement in his presentation, which came out to the shareholders for the quarterly quarterly report today. And that is about XRP being used as a shareholder benefit. Do you remember last year, he tested this with one of the companies under the umbrella, the Morningstar Group, and it was a success. So it's going to be expanded on a larger scale and XRP will be offered as an option to shareholders of SBI Holdings starting March 2020. It'll be worth up to 8,000 yen, which is just under 80 US dollars. There are a couple of conditions. One, you have to have um, a minimum of 100 shares and no more than 1,000 shares. If you've been holding for less than a year, then you'll have the option of 76 XRP. And if you have been holding for more than a year, you will be able to select the 305 XRP. Now, this is really thinking out of the box. and in addition to that, it will drive more customers onto the SBI VC trade site. But most importantly, it is going to increase the awareness of XRP, the digital asset, among a very conservative crowd in Japan that is probably only uh, truly in the space of um traditional stocks. So this is a very creative way to increase mass adoption. I think it sets a precedent for the whole world to follow and I really like it. Okay, we are going to look at five different fiats that are officially being used as on-demand liquidity by Ripple. And that is when XRP, the digital asset, works as a bridge currency to provide that liquidity for the US dollar, the Mexican peso, the euro, uh, also the Philippine peso and the Australian dollar. And you can see what we're looking at is the liquidity index for coins.ph. This is the XRP Philippine peso pair and you have, it's not hard to see that it has been increasing starting yeah in early December and really kicking in the last two weeks. We had another all time high set on January 29th with 3.3 million and some for daily volume. So who is coins.ph and why is XRP surging? This is a company that was founded in 2014 and they have what, 33,000 partner locations in the Philippines with a mission to increase financial inclusion across Southeast Asia's 650 million population which remains still largely unbanked. They are regulated by the Central Bank of the Philippines, and they were the first in Asia to hold both a virtual currency license and a money issuer license. So this is the Central Bank of the Philippines giving a blessing to operating the on-demand liquidity for Ripple using XRP. If you don't think the central banks are involved with XRP, you need to see this as a very clear collaboration to provide a uh, lower cost uh, for the remittances and being able to use XRP as a digital asset that provides a bridge in a way that is meaningful to not only the people who are working outside of their country, but also very meaningful to the companies who are using this. So let me show you a picture of a very beautiful crystal origami crane. This was awarded as a visionary award. It took place on the stage at Swell in Singapore. I'll share that picture with you. This is Brad Garlinghouse on the right, and you can see the CEO, Michael Brooks, on the left of Golance. Golance, by the way, not only did they win the Visionary Award given by Ripple, but they also are a winner of the Stevie Awards. That is a very prestigious 
achievement. So this company is using on-demand liquidity to execute its global payments for its freelancers. And they are being paid in the Philippine peso and also in the Mexican peso. So this company has 500 million freelancers. Yeah, we are in a gig economy, everybody. The whole world is really moving towards this gig economy. So they have a great future. So far, they have uh, actually um, paid out 76 million. And the talent that they have on this website is really interesting. They have skills of the web, mobile, and game developers. They have creative designers, search engine and social media marketers, researchers, writers, and data scientists. That is just to name a few of the sectors. And on the 29th of January, we can see Ripple, published this article that is more in depth about how Golance is delivering results for their clients located both in Mexico and the Philippines. They get paid faster and they get paid with less cost. Setting up correspondent banking partners, which has to be done if you don't use XRP, it's costly and as it says in this article, it can take uh, at least six months. So when you're with RippleNet, you can tap into the existing global network and be up and running in just two weeks. This is what Ripple is calling their network of network effect, and it will continue to increase. As these corridors open up, you're going to see more and more entries of companies that want to tap into this liquidity. So here you can see. We're looking at the BITSO liquidity index. This is for the XRP Mexican peso. And boy, it's been running a little bit longer than the Philippine peso. It started to really get off the ground with volume where everybody started to take notice in November. But you can see the increases and the all-time highs just keep coming setting another record on January 28th with 14.5 million in some. This liquidity volume on Bitso is very exciting. I know it's still peanut shells on the floor, but when you see the potential and as more and more of the, the market makers and exchanges participate around the globe, to provide this solution. Uh, this is very, very exciting. If we go to the Bitso status page, this is something that's new that I think has just been added. This is a page that keeps the company informed of, of the operations, you know, what's operational. And so you can see if they have something that's down, um, like for example, they had an outage for six hours and 56 minutes here for the transfer. But um, that was, yeah, this is, this is all within the last 90 days. So actually it has a really good operational record, but look at this, look at this, the, Argentina peso is on there. So we know that Ripple, with the recent investment that they made, it was an undisclosed amount, but it was given to Bitso to actually expand into Latin America, specifically Brazil and Argentina. This is very exciting to see, and you can see that it is operational. Speaking of their currency, wow, is this beautiful. This is one of their banknotes. This actually won an award for one of the most beautiful banknotes of 2016. I kind of hate to see everything go digital because sometimes the artwork on this fiat is quite beautiful. So let's take a look. Argentina, what is the size of this corridor? When we look at the remittances that go back into the country, which is what we want to pay attention to, it has a a um, total size as of 2017 of 688 million. And the majority of those remittances are coming from the United States, Spain, 
and Italy. So I think if they get this corridor open, they'll be able to easily get that um, corridor open with the USD. And then we've got the euro now, so they'll be able to hang the euro off there too. You can see that when one fiat goes live, you can actually have multiple corridors that occur because of that. Now, where am I getting these liquidity updates this is what you want to know about please go to twitter and there are two members of the xrp community here in japan that are doing a really good job at keeping everybody up to date with uh, all the corridors that are live um, you can see that the inventor is tenny toshi and it is maintained by Cine Apple Fun. And you'll find this liquidity index bot at, at liquidity B. So I, I am sure that those of you who are holding XRP will want to follow the progress. All right, Brianne Madigan. She published an article on the Ripple Insights in the last 24 hours. She's the head of global institutional markets team. And I think this is the start of a narrative that is geared towards the investors. And this is probably something we're going to see a lot of, especially since they're preparing for an up and coming IPO. Uh, this is something that is interesting. It talks, of course, of course, of course, about XRP providing that bridge for the uh, liquidity tool, but it also talks about making the corridors more liquid and more robust for financial products, bringing new financial products around crypto. And doing that will bring new entrants to the ecosystem. And it talks specifically about derivatives and perpetual swaps. This is considered the most liquid and heavily traded instruments in the digital asset space today. Binance just added the XRP to its futures in a perpetual contract. And so you probably might be asking yourself, why should I trade XRP futures and perpetuals? Well, you can buy and sell XRP directly. That's called spot trading. That's okay. If you buy low and you sell high, you are in great shape. You've made a profit. However, XRP futures and perpetual contracts enable you to benefit from both up and down moves of XRP. I think I will do a video on that very soon because I, I think for those of you who are, uh, hodlers and may be interested in exploring another way to participate in this space, this might be um, something you want to consider. All right, I'm jumping to the fluff, everybody. This is, yeah, I'm, this is kind of funny, funny new food releases from Japan. I have a feeling Hershey's is following the success of Kit Kat because now we have a Hershey's Choco Bits here that just came out uh, like six days ago with a matcha in the inside. It's not a cereal, but they show that you are pouring this into a big cup of milk. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. I'm not so sure this is maybe yeah, some people dip their Oreos in milk, right? So I guess maybe this is a similar taste. I'm not sure. And we have also a very new reveal from Starbucks. This is a Sakura, which is cherry blossom cheesecake pudding drink that is coming out for spring. This is, this one is not surprising. Every year Starbucks does something very creative here in regards to the cherry blossom season but this one's crazy this is a new mcdonald's uh campaign that was just announced in the last what i think just in the last day or so instead of a bun you have a, a rice patty <laughs> top this is actually grilled or you know baked uh, rice with a soy sauce flavoring 
working as your bun on uh, the BLT, the regular hamburger, or the chicken. <laughs> what do you think? Starting February 5th. I don't know. I will try one. I will try one. I just always have to try one. But here is the craziest. For Valentine's Day, there is a chocolate ramen. <laughs> Milk chocolate and white chocolate ramen that they are <laughs> promoting for sweet couples who love Japanese noodles. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody, do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.